Hey everyone, JD Strategic here. I hope everyone's doing great today. Really excited for this video. I'm gonna be talking about the importance of index fund investing, which is really likely the second best investment overall behind real estate. Um, but real estate can be a tough investment. So index fund investing really is your safest and best bet. It's the easiest way to achieve wealth with very little work and no skill. It's the only thing where you don't have to be, be an expert to beat an expert. So I am by no means a financial expert. I'm not even close to that, but you don't need to be an expert to beat the expert. So it's a shame that so many people are scared to invest their money into the stock market. So I hope I can kind of relay some of those um, ideas to kind of make people feel more confident in the stock market. Because overall, the more you start to learn about the stock market, the more confident you start to feel in the stock market and investing your money in the stock market. And that really does go such a long way in terms of retiring at the age you want, being able to do the things you want later in life. So let's start by talking about what is an index fund. So this is a portfolio of stocks or bonds tracking an entire index or benchmark. So it's a group of investments rather than an individual investment and you own a percentage of that whole group of investments. Um, so let's talk about the most common example, which is the S&P 500. This is an index fund that tracks the largest 500 US companies. So rather than picking the Teslas, the Amazons, the Facebooks, Kroger, um, you name it, you're just tracking the whole index of so the top 500 companies. And there's different ways. There's so many different index funds out there. You could invest in the top 500 growth companies, the top 500 dividend companies, or you, you could be confident in like say the technology sector and say that you know the technology sector is gonna go up over the next 10 years. Um, so you can invest in an index fund that tracks all the technology companies out there. So rather than trying to pick these individual stocks which have their highs and lows, you're just betting on the market to go up over time. So this really is why it's such a great investment. Um, it takes so much work to try to analyze the balance sheet of all these companies and figure out are they gonna go up, are they gonna go down, but it's a safe bet to be just betting on the market overall, especially if you have that long-term investment, it really does make sense. Um, so I, do, I would strongly suggest trying to um, get started with index fund investing. And let's talk about why index fund investing. It starts with low costs. So index funds are passively managed, which means they have low fees. These fees are about 0.03 or 0.04% on an annual basis. And to be a successful investor, you need to cut costs as low as possible because just like the money you're accumulating over time that's compounding as you invest, those costs are compounding too. So you want to decrease these costs as much as possible to have the most success. Um, when you invest in actively managed funds, these fees can be about 0.5% to 1% on average and they go as high as 2.5%. So that fee compounded over time is really going to hurt you. And then when you figure out that those actively managed fees aren't doing as great as just the index, it's really hurting because they're not doing as well and they're charging you higher fees. So it really doesn't make sense. And on top of that, it's a lot more work trying to figure out which actively managed fee is best. Whereas it's so much easier to just put your money into an index fund tracking the 500 largest US companies. So low cost is definitely a really great reason to invest in index funds. And then that also ties into point number two, which is higher profits. So obviously those low costs, that's going to um, end up in those higher profits. But I ran a screen of all the U.S. equity products in the U.S. So this is the Black Rocks, the Videlis, the, the, the Vanguards, any asset management company you can think of in this country. And there's 3,483 U.S. equity products. And these are active, actively managed and these are people getting paid tremendous amounts of money to try to beat the stock market, to try to beat the benchmark and the index. So they're getting paid tremendous amounts of money. There's so many products out there which just overwhelms people um, with the decision making. It just causes so much extra decision making that's not necessary. So out of those 3,483 US equity products in the US, 938 of those outperformed the benchmark after 10 years. So imagine what that number will look like in 15, 20, or 30 years. And on top of that, they're charging the higher fees. So if only 27% of them are beating the benchmark after 10 years, um, they're getting paid tremendous amounts of money. So why would you try to beat the 
stock market yourself when you can just put money into the stock market. It really is the easiest way with the littlest amount of work. So it is, it is really such a crazy idea. It really blows my mind how I can literally sit here and just put small amounts of money into a stock market and just say, I know the US market's gonna go up in the next 10, 20, 30 years. And I don't have to be a part of the business. I don't have to be doing anything. Um, I can just keep doing everything that I'm doing in my daily life and I can have these reoccurring investments going so I don't have to worry about it at all. So we have low costs, higher profits. And lastly, I just want to say, I think it really is one of the safest investments. I'm not a financial expert by any means, but betting on the market to grow over time really is pretty safe bet. You know, if the stock market were to go to zero, there would be a lot bigger things to worry about than your bank account. Like we'd literally be at war. So there literally is, it literally is the safest bet. Like the history shows us we can expect about eight to 10% returns in the S&P over time. So if you have that long-term investment time frame, why wouldn't you let your money grow on an eight to 10% basis each year? Um, given you can't expect that on a yearly basis because it fluctuates, but over 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, you can definitely expect the stock market to go up. So let me end with this Warren Buffett quote. Don't look for the needle in the haystack, just pick the haystack. So I think that really ties into the idea of don't pick individual stocks. It's so much harder. Um, so just invest in an index fund. It's the, it really is one of the easiest investments. So I'm not a financial expert, but I strongly advise you look into index fund. It takes like 20 minutes to get started and you don't have to worry about it ever again. Thank you everyone for tuning in. JD Strategic, tuning out.